Hey YouTube, Squealer642, and uh, I'm here with a kind of an overview of the Windows Developer Preview, uh, and it's basically the beta version of Windows 8, and it's pretty neat, I'm not going to lie, so let's jump right into it. Um, so here we have the uh, start screen that you get when you first log on to your computer. Uh, you start it up and you type in your password and everything, and I'm not, I'm, I will also tell you that the uh, the login screen is also really cool. But one of the things I have noticed, just to kind of start us off, is that it has a lot of touch gesture related features in like embedded in the operating system. So a lot of features actually are going to seem really awkward to use with a mouse, and I'm not going to lie, it's kind of disappointing actually that. Uh, it it's built in like that. Now they did come out with the Microsoft Touch Mouse, which is kind of like the uh, Apple Magic Mouse, and it should improve the experience a decent amount at least. Um, but they're obviously obviously going to be targeting people with touch screens, more with tablets, and the Microsoft Touch Mouse would be the solution for desktops. Um, so, anyways, uh, back to uh, the developer preview. Uh, here's your start menu. You have your uh, standard, this is what they call the dashboard. And this is just kind of, you have widgets and icons for your different programs that you have. Um, and you can pick these widgets up and move them around. So say I wanted to move this little piano app icon thing over here. I could just go ahead and drag it over and then adjust my icons around as I please. Um, it's pretty neat that you're able to do this. Uh, it's it's a really fast way to get to all your apps, but I'm kind of irritated by the fact that you don't actually have a dedicated start menu. Um, now I'll show you real quick. If we go to the desktop, you can see right here, and actually the desktop is like a program. It's more like an app than anything else. It's it, it's kind of interesting and kind of hard to get used to. But once you get used to it, it's actually really cool because you realize that you can do so much more with it than you've been doing before. So let's go ahead and go right over here to the desktop uh, icon. So now we have our desktop. If you push the start button, or if you hover over it, you get this little... Wow, okay, well that... You might have seen it just a second ago. But uh, if you click on it, it brings this up. And you can also use the uh, super or uh, windows key on your keyboard to switch back and forth. Um, and actually, you can actually switch to your start menu at any point in any program during anything if you want to, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, which is the same concept as the old start menu, but this time you actually have a full screen uh, system to go look through your apps. Um, and so, anyway, let's go to. Uh, let's just start out with Internet Explorer. It's actually. Did it just crash? That is the first time I've had something crash. I've had this for three hours running, haven't restarted the computer, and I just had the first crash. So that's something to point out. Internet Explorer just crashed on me. So let's go to YouTube. Um, and actually, one of the nice things about this is that with the developer preview or with the with the Windows 8 platform, you don't actually have to download. Uh, Windows 8 specific programs that are only compatible with Windows 8. Um, like before you had Windows Vista and you would have to adjust the uh, or you would have to download a specific version for Windows 7 or run it in compatibility mode. With Windows 8 you can do compatibility mode but any program like drivers, programs, anything that you download for Windows 7 will automatically work in Windows 8 which doesn't surprise me because that's one of the things I think that was needing to be improved in the whole Windows experience is uh, cross pa uh, cross OS, if that makes any sense, compatibility without making it too complicated. Um, so here's my channel. Um, as you can see, Internet Explorer is exactly the same. It's IE9. It's really fluid. I mean, it no uh, YouTube videos load pretty quickly. Um, I did have to load up the, uh, oh, what's it? You do have to install a bunch of plugins, which 
isn't really that big of a downfall, but it is kind of irritating. I mean, I guess you get that with a lot of computers when you do a clean install of an operating system if you've ever done that. Um, so let's move away from Internet Explorer and let's go to the regular Explorer uh, window. Um, so here you can see they've changed a little bit of the uh, top bar. Uh, if you have Microsoft Office 2010, you know that they actually added a lot of the buttons directly into the bar at the top. And this is actually based on that layout, which is, I think, what they were going for so that it's all kind of a uniform style and so you know exactly where you're going uh, as you're going through the Windows 8 uh, screens. So let's just go ahead and go to music and we'll, oh, I don't have any sample music, but let's go into music and so say I want to copy this file onto a flash drive, I'm going to go ahead and plug my flash drive in and you can actually, at the top here, you can say copy to, move to, delete, rename, you know, you got your little, uh, and you can actually see this little pop-up thing. Instead of an actual pop-up window, it's just like a little notification rather than actually getting in your face and saying, what do you want to do? It just subtly asks you instead of you having to actually do something about it and you can see it just went away uh, with me ignoring it. So you can either right-click it and do this whole thing, as you know, or you can click up here and you can tell it where to copy it to. I'm just going to go ahead and move it to my, or copy it to my removable disk and you can see that went relatively fast. Um, let's go ahead and I'm wondering if I have anything bigger that I can try and show you. Um, but, and then it, um, so let's go in here and then you can see that I have the file right here. Um, just to show you the little window thing that keeps popping up that you didn't get to see very well, instead of that weird little annoying uh, copying or moving file window that you normally have, they've actually improved it to where you can actually see the little data rate going up and down and kind of see time. It's actually pretty cool. But if you look closely, I'm going to... Uh-oh. Did Explorer crash? Yep, okay, Explorer just froze. I actually haven't clicked, I have, haven't done Control Delete yet, but that's pretty cool. This is kind of the standard uh, alternate screen if you push Control Delete, and this is what the login screen looks like. Oh, so there it jumped right there. So, just to give you an idea of what it, um, what the little window looks like that I was telling you about, I'm going to move this onto my desktop, and you got to look because it's quick. Oh, it didn't even do it. That that was actually really fast. Um, one of the things I've noticed actually is a lot of performance difference between Windows uh, at the Windows 8 beta and Windows 7. Uh, all of the animations are a lot more fluid. Windows 7 really didn't have that many animations. Um, but like for instance, when we go to the home, or, or uh, when we go to the dashboard right here, totally fluid. I mean, if you can see that, there's no lag at all. And you can't really even tell that it's. You don't. It, it's not like every fifth frame. It's not. It's totally fluid, and you get the full motion effect that they're intending. And part of that you can attribute to the hardware acceleration that they've actually built into all of uh, Windows 8 beta. Um, and I, actually, that's one of the biggest things that they're. Uh, that's one of the biggest points on here is that Windows 8 actually features full hardware acceleration for basically everything it does. So, and my computer, I actually just installed this on my laptop because I wasn't sure about putting it on my uh, big uh, video editing rig and everything. So I put it on my laptop and I was actually really impressed. I don't have, my laptop isn't the best, it does not have dedicated graphics. Uh, so it's not that fancy and as you can see just with the integrated graphics it's running really really well with these transitions. Uh, they've really done a good job with the hardware acceleration on uh, this operating system beta. Um, uh, oh, one other thing I was going to show you. the If you remember in Windows 7 or if you have it right now, the uh, little uh, network, little pop-up thing, a little window that pops up when you click the to collect, uh, connect to a new network. This is how they're moving towards all of their little pop-up menus. It's these uh, kind of sidebar things, if you see that. Um, 
I'm not sure what I think about it because it kind of gets in the way, but at the same time, they're going for a really, not really abstract, but a really clean look, and it actually looks a lot better. Like, aesthetically, I think I like the look of it more than I did the Windows 7 version, um, which is not surprising because uh, Microsoft has actually put a lot of thought into all of their uh, systems here that they've, or all of their new features that they've done here. Um, you can see your little battery thing is still the same. So, actually, we were comparing that to this. And you can actually see the difference. That to this. I don't know. I think just kind of a cleaner look. Um, one of the other things that I've noticed, if you take... Let's go ahead and launch an app here. So, let's go ahead and open up... I don't know. Uh... let's open up my alarms here so if we go back to my start screen and we go to the desktop and you put your uh, cursor on the far left edge of the screen instead of nothing happening like in Windows 7 this is actually pretty cool if you see that little uh, preview that pops up that's actually the alarm app that I just closed so the, this is actually Win, uh, Windows 8's version of multitasking so if you want to snap something to the left side of the screen like an app, you can actually see that I have it right here. I can let go of it to have it come full screen, or I can, sorry, grab it and drag it to the left to where it puts the big green space right there, and I can keep it there. Or, and you can see to get rid of it, you just drag it to the edge, or you can snap it to the right. And that's actually really cool because you can adjust the size of it. Uh, and that actually comes in handy a lot when you're doing like Word, uh, Word and PowerPoint presentations, and if you're doing research and you're needing to type up a paper, instead you can also still do the uh, Windows arrow snap to the side of the screen thing. But this is just an alternative. And they've actually, speaking of doing research and doing Word, I was actually experimenting around with this, and they've actually turned Internet Explorer into an app. I thought this was a bit interesting because I've never seen this before but Internet Explorer is now an app and if you see this this is really almost like a cell phone style internet browser it's built into the dashboard and so if you go back to the home screen it just flips right in and so I, I don't know this is giving me a really almost verbatim image of my cell phone um, I actually have an Android but if you've ever used a Windows 7 or a Windows Phone 7, this is actually all themed exactly like that. And so, if you open up an Internet Explorer, this is actually a totally different app. Um, so let's go ahead and go to my YouTube channel again. So you can see the taskbar or the little address bar is actually at the bottom, and you have all of your little uh, address or uh, action icon button things down here. Um, I can't remember how. Um, but it actually has a little tab bar thing that's up at the top. Uh, I I haven't really experimented with this much yet because this again this is a whole new experience for me as I'm sure it is for you. Um, but I just can't get over how different this is. This is, I mean, some people are going to try and compare it like, oh, uh, OS X is so much better. Like all of those Mac fanatics, and I know you guys that are watching this might be one of them. A lot of people are going to try and uh, compare the Windows 8 platform with Mac OS X. Like, oh, OS X is so much better, or whatever it is, Lion now. Um, but you really can't do that because this is so different from anything anyone's ever done. Um, the fact that they've made the uh, desktop actually an app is its a lot different and it's hard to get used to. Um, but it's really neat, and I think they, they actually have a long way to go with Windows 8. But I think all the ideas are here, and I think there's a lot that they can expand and do with this, is what I'm trying to get across. Um, so, I'll probably be posting more YouTube videos in the near future. Uh, this has been Squirrel 642 with a Windows developer uh, preview, uh, overview, and kind of a little bit of a uh, review for you. Uh, I'll be posting more videos on specific features, uh, I mean more specific features and programs um, on my channel, so feel free to like this video and feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.